Throughout history, we have gazed at the stars. What is our place in the universe? How did it all begin? Are we alone? What if the universe itself possesses a form of intelligence or consciousness we're only beginning to grasp? Emerging scientific theories and philosophical ideas are starting to challenge our conventional understanding of the cosmos. Some scientists and thinkers are now pondering if the universe might be far more complex and interconnected than we ever imagined. Could it be that within the laws of physics, the dance of particles and the vast cosmos, there lies a form of awareness? To even begin to contemplate such a question, we must first confront the sheer scale of the universe we inhabit. Billions upon billions of stars scattered across unimaginable distances. Our planet, a tiny speck orbiting an average star in a seemingly ordinary galaxy. The human mind struggles to truly grasp such vastness. How did this happen? Was it merely a random accident, a fortunate roll of the cosmic dice? Or could there be a deeper, more profound force at play? The idea that the universe itself might be intelligent or conscious is not a new one. New discoveries in fields like quantum mechanics and cosmology are revealing a universe far stranger and more interconnected than we ever imagined. From the bizarre world of quantum entanglement to the intricate cosmic web, we are beginning to see hints of a universe that might be capable of far more than we previously thought possible. When we look out into the universe, we see a vast expanse dotted with galaxies. But look closer, and you'll find these galaxies aren't randomly scattered. They're connected by something called the cosmic web. Filaments of dark matter and gas, invisible to the naked eye, acting as the threads. These threads stretch and weave, connecting galaxies in a vast, intricate network. And as scientists have studied it more closely, they've noticed something peculiar, hinting at a deeper order. Our brains, the seat of our thoughts, our emotions, our very consciousness, also rely on a huge interconnected network. Neurons, the brain's building blocks, connect and communicate through a vast web of synapses. The structure of the cosmic web, with its filaments connecting galaxies, bears some resemblance to the network of neurons in our brains. The human brain is a marvel of information processing. And what is the universe if not a vast ocean of information? Every star, every galaxy, every atom, a repository of data. Could the cosmic web, like the neural networks in our brains, process the flow of information on a cosmic scale? The human mind is an incredible thing. Our brains, complex networks of neurons, are constantly rewiring themselves, building new connections, strengthening old ones. Now imagine if the universe itself possessed a similar capacity for learning. What if the universe is constantly evolving, adapting and learning from its own existence? This is the radical idea proposed by some theoretical physicists, an idea they call the autodidactic universe. It suggests that the cosmos itself might be a self-learning system, constantly gathering information, processing it and using it to shape its own evolution. Think about how machine learning algorithms work. They are fed vast amounts of data, and through complex algorithms, they identify patterns, make predictions, and improve their performance over time. Could the universe operate in a similar way? Instead of lines of code, the universe has the laws of physics. Every interaction between particles, every collision of galaxies, every supernova explosion, all of it contributing to the universe's vast learning process. If the universe is constantly learning, then perhaps it's not so surprising that it eventually stumbled upon the recipe for intelligence itself. It has happened at least once with creation and evolution of intelligent life on Earth. Could it happen elsewhere and on a different scale too? Imagine the universe as a young child, just beginning to explore the world around it. Through trial and error, through observation and experimentation, the universe learns and grows. Over billions of years, this self-learning process leads to the emergence of increasingly complex structures, from the first atoms to the intricate molecules of life. And eventually, on a small, rocky planet, orbiting an average star, the universe's journey of self-discovery takes a giant leap forward with the emergence of conscious awareness.
Are we really the only form how intelligent life can emerge in universe? However, even we as humans, with our ability to question, to explore, to understand, may represent the universe's attempt to understand itself. The human experience is awash with subjective feelings. The taste of chocolate, the warmth of the sun, the sting of loss, these are things we know intimately. Yet how these feelings arise from the intricate workings of our brains remains one of the biggest mysteries in science. Some believe consciousness is simply a byproduct of complex information processing. Others think that consciousness is more fundamental than that. What if it's not something that emerges from matter, but rather something that's always been there, woven into the very fabric of existence? Panpsychism proposes that consciousness, or at least the building blocks of it, are not unique to living beings. Instead, they are a fundamental property of all matter, present in varying degrees throughout the universe. One of the leading voices in the world of consciousness research is David Chalmers. Chalmers argues that any system that processes information from a single-celled organism to a vast galaxy could, in theory, possess some form of consciousness. Christoph Koch, another renowned neuroscientist, has also begun to explore the implications of panpsychism. If consciousness is indeed present in the very structure of reality, it paints a breathtaking picture of the universe. A universe teeming with a vast spectrum of minds, from the simple awareness of a single atom to the complex consciousness of a human being. For centuries we've equated consciousness with the brain, but what if consciousness extends beyond the confines of our skulls? That challenges us to expand our definition of consciousness. Could the dance of particles in a distant star be a form of experience? Could the vast interconnected network of galaxies be humming with a cosmic awareness that dwarfs our own? There are no easy answers. We are forced to confront our assumptions about the nature of reality, the nature of consciousness, and our place within this vast, mysterious universe. For centuries, the world of physics seemed governed by predictable laws. Then came quantum mechanics. At the heart of quantum mechanics lies a fundamental randomness and strangeness. Particles, the building blocks of matter, do not always behave like tiny billiard balls. Sometimes they act like waves spread out across space. And strangest of all, their behavior can be influenced by observation itself. One of the most baffling phenomena in quantum mechanics is entanglement. Imagine two particles born at the same moment, linked in a way that defies our everyday intuition. No matter how far apart they travel, even light years, they remain connected. Change the state of one particle, and the other instantly mirrors the change, as if by magic. Could this bizarre quantum connection hold the key to understanding how the universe might process information on a cosmic scale? The vast distances between stars and galaxies have always seemed like insurmountable barriers to communication. But what if entanglement provides a loophole, a way for influence to travel instantaneously across the cosmos? Imagine a universe where every particle is subtly connected to every other particle through a vast web of entanglement. Think of the universe not as a collection of isolated objects, but as a vast, interconnected symphony of information. Each particle, each star, each galaxy, a note in this grand cosmic composition. Entanglement becomes the conductor's baton, orchestrating the flow of information, ensuring that every part of the universe is in sync. It's a heady, awe-inspiring vision of the cosmos. Imagine a mosaic. Thousands of tiny pieces, each one seemingly insignificant on its own. But arrange them in the right way, and a breathtaking image emerges. That's the essence of Integrated Information Theory, or IIT, a leading theory of consciousness. IIT proposes that consciousness isn't about specific brain regions or neural firing patterns, it's about the way information is integrated within a system. If IIT is correct, then consciousness isn't confined to brains. Any system, biological or otherwise, that exhibits a high degree of information integration could potentially be conscious. The universe is a vast interconnected web of energy and matter constantly exchanging information. Could this cosmic web be the ultimate information processing system? Could it be conscious?
One of the challenges of IIT is its inherent complexity. Calculating the level of information integration in a system, even a relatively simple one, is a daunting task. Yet even if we can't yet measure it precisely, the possibility remains. Imagine standing on a beach, listening to the waves crashing on the shore. Each wave is unique, yet part of a larger rhythm. Now imagine zooming out, seeing the entire ocean, its currents swirling. This is the scale at which we might need to think to comprehend cosmic consciousness. Beyond our perception, there exists a deeper hum, a cosmic awareness. It's a humbling, awe-inspiring thought. The ideas we've discussed are highly speculative, even controversial. They challenge our current understanding of physics, biology, and the nature of reality itself. But even if these ideas never graduate from the realm of speculation to concrete scientific fact, they serve a valuable purpose. They remind us of the vastness of the unknown, the mysteries that still lurk beyond the horizon of our current knowledge. The quest to understand the universe is a journey without end. Every answer leads to more questions, deeper mysteries. The idea of a conscious universe pushes our scientific boundaries. How do you measure something as elusive as consciousness? These questions will occupy scientists for generations. The pursuit of knowledge drives us forward. Regardless of whether the universe is consciously aware, the very act of contemplating its potential for intelligence changes our perspective. It reminds us that we are part of something much larger than ourselves, a grand cosmic structure made of energy, matter and information. It encourages us to look for connections, to see the universe not as a collection of isolated objects, but as a complex, interconnected whole. It invites us to ponder the possibility that our actions, our thoughts, our very existence might ripple through this cosmic web in ways we can scarcely imagine. And it humbles us, reminding us that for all our technological prowess and intellectual achievements, we are still but a young species on a tiny planet, just beginning to grasp the true scale and complexity of the universe we inhabit. So, is the universe intelligent? We don't yet have a definitive answer. But perhaps that's not the most important question. Perhaps the more profound realisation is that we live in a universe where such a question can even be asked.